What's up guys, happy tries, since I've got this third Elemental Pro FX on the bench, I thought I'd give you guys a little, basically a little quick setup guide if you like. Um, I do get a lot of people asking what is the best settings and yada yada. I Personally, there's not really a, a right or wrong setting, it's just basically whatever you want to do with it. But I'm going to basically give you a little guide of what to do when you first get it. First thing you want to do is charge it up because the battery is not charged. It only has like a kind of storage capacity on it. So make sure you charge up first thing. Um, it will have enough juice in there to kind of run it for maybe an hour or so. But I would probably definitely charge it before you intend to use it. So first things first, do charge it. Up here you have your headphone port. This is for just normal headphone use uh, if you want to do an SD session. If you want to do an SD session with the effects you would plug into this port here you can also uh, record directly with this port and you still hear the audio coming through from the the speaker so you can do that as well uh, up the top you have your selection so that is the off position uh, that's how you turn it on if you want to use Bluetooth you can uh, put it to the middle position if you want to use a ghost box put it to the radio position fairly standard that is your line input so how to get that to work you simply put an mp3 bluetooth and then you will plug in the included cable uh, which is behind this battery door by the way um, so you would simply just plug it in after you select that and turn it on it will say line in mode and uh, basically what if you plug that cable into will come through uh, with the effects and all that kind of stuff as well now how to set up the radio, what I typically do is have it anywhere between the 87 and 96 mark. This is your sweep speed control, so if you are on linear or random sweep, you can adjust the sweep speed by adjusting this dial, like so. So the further down it goes, the faster it will be, the further up it goes, the slower it will be. I typically have it somewhere in between there, typically when I test it I just leave it at 96 and that is good for me. Um, so let me just show you how to get some volume on here. This is the pickup coil volume, so we kind of just want that about 80%. You don't need to have it full maxed out. About 80% is fine, so kind of when, when the little uh, pointer's pointing backwards. Um, if you want some echo in there, you just turn that dial all the way to the max and then kind of just adjust the level. That is your delay control, that adjusts the speed of the reverb. So you can have it sounding really wet or really dry, sort of echoey and really spaced out. I'm going to leave it there just for a second. That is your sweep speed, con uh, not your sweep speed, that is your sweep mode control. So up the top is linear, that is linear forwards. Automatic is also linear forwards, but the speed is controlled automatically. And random just puts, it, puts, puts the, the, the frequency of random positions and that is also speed adjustable. The automatic mode is kind of like a, a sort of beginner mode. Uh, if you don't want to uh, physically set up the sweep speed, you can just put it there and that will give you kind of a, a good ballpark setting to get started with. For now, I've just got in the linear and I'm going to leave it there. Now the radio's on, I can uh, adjust the master volume. And we can then see the effects are on. If you don't want any effects, just turn the reverb all the way down. And it'll just sound like how it normally does. You can also adjust the delay. So you can make it sound a little bit more funny if you like. And that is basically it guys. It's, it's not a really hard device to use. It is in fact quite easy to use in retrospect to ghost boxes. You also have a little light here if you wish to use it in the dark. That is also kind of candy and cool. So. When this is fully charged, the, the battery will last about 8 hours, something or so, uh, depending on what you're using, obviously if you're using the light, etc. Uh, that also depends on the volume, how loud you have it. Uh, so it's still quite a good runtime for such a small battery. It's only a little 18650 battery that's behind that door there. You can buy spare ones if you wish and uh, swap them out on the fly, if you, depending if you have power where you're going or whatever. Uh, you can... Uh, buy more batteries and swap them out and just charge them up as you need them so yeah that's basically it so it does take a 18650 battery you can easily buy them on amazon so for example if this battery does die uh, it fails after you know many years of use uh, you can easily swap out and uh, service it yourself is really easy to do that
Um, so yeah, that's basically guys. There's not a whole lot to really talk about here. It's basically just one of our uh, most advanced ghost boxes uh, that we do, uh, and it is quite affordable. Currently, these are 130 pounds, uh, depending on where you are in the world. If you're in the UK, there's uh, free postage. If you're in the United States or wherever, uh, there will be an additional nine pounds. Um, so yeah, that's just to help with the shipping costs. Also, if you want to run this with Bluetooth, you can put it here and you can run apps, etc. through here and have the effects on as well. So if there's an app that you like and it doesn't have echo or reverb, you can uh, put it through here and it will work that way as well. It does have a TFT card and USB slot. This is for music playback only. This doesn't record or do anything like that. Uh, so just bear that in mind. And that is the controls here for it. So that's how you would get that to work. And yeah, your charge port, your auxiliary input. This also works as an antenna port, so uh, you can buy one of those little uh, 3.5 millimeter antennas. Uh, that is for shortwave, uh, so you can do that as well if you wish. Normal headphone port, and uh, yeah, the auxiliary out port here. This is the effects side. This is the post effects, so if you don't want any effects and you just want to listen to the actual radio without any effects at all, that's where you would plug it in there. So you can do two different types of SD's methods, with effects or without. And that's pretty much it guys, it's, it's not a super hard device to use, it is actually fairly easy. It is a more advanced device than uh, our regular models, obviously you have a few other controls and it does a few more things. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind, this is not a beginner level, uh, but certainly it can grow with you if you wish. And uh, yeah, I don't see why you couldn't learn how to use it uh, with some patience. Anyway, I'm going to leave you there guys and I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye then now.